Very pleased to see Kedar bat the way he did. Very pleased to see Hardik the way he performed with bat and ball. Um, very pleased to see Yuvi and Mahi bat together again and string in that big partnership. So I think a lot of positives for us <clears throat> as, a, as a team. And um, even Bhuvi with the ball in the second game. Well, it's really helpful. I mean, if you see um, all the teams around the world, they have a fast bowling all-rounder which gives them a lot of balance. Allows you to play their extra batsmen, I guess. Um, allows you to still play two spinners, two seamers, and then, you know, if, if the guy's good enough, he does the job for you. I think he bowled really well in the first and the third game. Um, even today, he picked up uh, three wickets and he bowled really good areas. You know, he was he was one of, one of the few bowlers for us who was hitting the deck hard and, and getting purchase off it. And with the bat as well, he's got good instinctive play, and um, now he's getting more smarter and intelligent with the more with uh, you know, more games that he plays. And uh, we spoke to him about not being, you know, too aggressive or reckless initially, and then he understands the the importance of rotating strike and understanding when to score a boundary or or hit the big shot. Um, I saw the disappointment, and you know. So the sadness on his face when England lost that final. But yeah, he's he's you know a guy with with great character. He's he's always fighting, you know, to win games for England. We all see that in Test cricket. Even today, he was you know really motivated to win the game for them. You could tell by his body language, um, by the way he bowled, the, the way he batted, and the way he was running in the end as well while he was batting. The more T20 cricket we play, we're going to get better at the death bowling. That's one thing I feel will be our advantage. Um, um, as far as the batting is concerned, obviously the, the one area that we look to um, focus on would be maintaining our, our batting techniques and just using T20 cricket and ODI cricket as an extension of your test batting, not necessarily having to go reckless out there and, and slog every ball that we play. If I sit down as a captain and I expect teams to get out at 250-260, then I'm just thinking totally opposite of how the game is going nowadays. I think uh, if teams are scoring 300 plus, you've got to make up your mindset to go out there and score them, or score more than you know what they are capable of of chasing. So I think that's what the game is literally boiling down to: is how how much. Um, you know, impact your batsmen can have in the game because bowlers are finding it really difficult, especially when you have two around. It's it's very very tough for bowlers to ex execute their plan. So I think it, it's I, I would not like to say this, but the one day game and the T20 game is is more um, you know batsman dominated. Maybe Champions Trophy se shuru, because we have Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan ko as opening pair revelation pehli baar dekha tha to. You never know. वो भी अगर एक area strong हो जाएगा तो as I said we हम लोग सिर्फ 70 75 percent potential में खेले अभी तक as a batting unit और अगर हम लोग 100 percent potential में खेलेंगे तो मुझे नहीं पता कि हम लोग कितने run और बना सकते हैं